A vegetable soup is the perfect meal to enjoy during cold weather. It's healthy and uses simple ingredients that can be easily substituted. To make this version of a hearty vegetable soup, you're going to need one medium onion, chopped, one zucchini, diced, two medium carrots, also diced, three quarters of a cup of Romano beans or any type of beans that you prefer, half a cup of small shell pasta, two cloves of garlic, finely chopped, two tablespoons of olive oil, and one large can of diced tomatoes. You'll also need one teaspoon each of rosemary, basil, and parsley, as well as salt and pepper according to your taste, two cups of water to start with, but most likely a little more later on, and a large pot for preparing the soup. Start by turning the heat on medium and adding the olive oil to the pot. When the oil heats up, add the onions and garlic, followed by the carrots and zucchini. Now add the rosemary, basil, and parsley, and season with a little salt and pepper. You may choose to add a little water if you think it's necessary. Then cover and cook on medium-low for 3-4 to four minutes. Now add the diced tomatoes, the Romano beans, and water to cover the ingredients. Add the pasta shells, cover the pot, and allow the soup to cook at a slow boil until the shells are al dente. If you need to add more water and adjust the salt, this is a good time to do so. Six to eight minutes later, depending on the pasta, your veggie soup should be ready to enjoy. This recipe will serve three to four people. Here are some variations. When you make this, feel free to use any squash, green beans, yellow zucchini, chickpeas, spinach, or any other veggies, grams, and pulses that you enjoy. You can also use whole wheat pasta or omit the pasta altogether. You can also vary the herbs depending on what you like. Sometimes I garnish this with fresh basil instead of using it in its dried form. Finally, if you prefer to make this using fresh ingredients, then use two to three fresh diced tomatoes and vegetable stock instead of water. For more recipes, please check out my blog at www.anilamaharaj.com and stay tuned by subscribing. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.